Glad to have you for another go of Reign of Blight. Welcome into the... Welcome to the show, y'all. Welcome back you, VOD viewer, to Darkest Dungeon 2. Going with Reign of Blight again. Just sounded like fun. I just like this team. And uh, saving the loadouts for the first time. Something that I just now remembered I could do. Also looking at some really nice quirks for this team early on. Tough and Cosmic Slayer. The latter of which is something I've uh, come to appreciate quite a bit more lately. When you are ready, this rutted roadway will finally take you home. We got two first timers on the team. Yeah, I think Jesus and the Miser. Crusader, I think, is good. Comforts yeah. Are exhausted. Ahead, only a trial. And I think Duelist is better. The more that I play Duelist, the, the more I think she's secretly pretty dope. Just takes a lot of building familiarity, learning of new systems, recognizing where her advantages are. But I have been really impressed with her. And then the Crusader, as we were just talking about a little while ago, is, you know, pretty familiar. Or at least the way I've been building and playing and more reflects on me, I suppose, than the character itself. But, uh, yeah, he's been pretty reliable, pretty solid uh, contributor most of the time. I wouldn't say he's really much better than... Any other frontline character, any other typical tank class. Like, he's got some additional utility that's fun. Fortune in memories, long forgotten. But usually I'm probably going to be more partial to something like the Man-at-Arms. That's just fair. You can, you can do whatever the heck you want. I bet you've already optimized the Crusader build to maximum value. And I applaud you. The place is a little worse for wear, Ooh. but familiar nonetheless. Early bounty hunter, pick me still open if you'd like to be selected. Consider your position and plan accordingly. Jackson! Yet another gifty from Jackson. Thank you. N or, uh, welcome, NKD. Into the pile. A few bear hugs, a few bear gifts for him, please. Appreciate that very much. You haven't even used Reap on Crusader once unless I missed it in one of the last streams. I don't think I have either yet. I, I initially thought I would Each love that skill. A new variable in the equation of your fate. Like, I use Hue way more than you would think. Even on a Tempest Leper, I'll Hue a bunch, but... Yeah, not a, a lot of Reap of going on. On the road to damnation. Hmm. I don't think I really need to worry about any of these. Bobble offerings. Bob, bob, bobble offerings. Uh, I'm thinking about doing a shambler spawn run. There's nothing that's really going to benefit our blight application here, right? Yeah. Let's give this a go. I bet we can do some fun stuff with the... Uh, with the occultists. Or what are they called? I, I, I always forget. The unforgettable? Or something like that. The name of the trinkets that you get that are paired with the dark impulse. I forget the descriptive word they use for him. It cannot fight, but perhaps it can calm. Rob Steelums. I think that might even be another first time name. Mubot's really breaking their chains today, dude. Normally they share or show a lot of favoritism. Cranky Ninetail is also a fantastic name for our stagecoach today. Might have bought one ages ago. Yeah, it's uh, been a Learn while at least. Be taught, that you may stand just a little taller at the end. And we got a lot of help that we could get from Mastery early on in this run, so I'm really, really debating between a few of these choices. I did want to go with Cause of Death early, mostly for the combo application, and then this will hopefully incentivize me to use that a little bit more often. And then I think I should probably go ahead and go with Indiscriminate Science early, too. That's a safe bet. And who's going to be on the bench early? 
I'm thinking it's probably going to be Grave Robber. Although, if I want to keep all the Blight, I should substitute the Occultist so that we can maintain combo no application. Behind the hunter's mask. Yeah, I think so. Only a terrible thought. Mac. That's a good name. Got the utility belt again. And the Void Sight, which is pretty nice. And he is fittingly also melophobic. Let's go with the Come Hither and the Mark for the combo application. Jaxum. I felt it coming. The Miser hop on into the pile as well. If you're going to be in the squad, you got to be in the pile. So saith our loyal moderator, Jackson. Thank you yet again. We'll have the second coming of Thick Jesus. Thick Jesus will be reborn. Certainly. Um, yeah, that looks good to me. No need to worry about the utility belt too much. Who's coming along? Do, do. Our bounty hunter for the day is going to be Mark Harda. Nearly had it already. There we go. Let's get him fed. Get a little whiskey Spend in us. You can, for wealth no longer has meaning. Or I save it for later. If indeed it ever did. I buy a couple of glimmers today too. I feel like I should be a little bit more diligent about the torchlight. Let's do it. Hey, how's it going? Also adding on to the team. Thank you. Can you get a few more bear hugs for him, please? War. Rewards only. Resignation. Love when they feel the love from the pile. Thank you very much for the support. And lo, thick Jesus was benched. <laughs> oh, man. I, uh, so we were doing the bracket yesterday, best cartoon theme song, and near the end of it, we were just going through some of the, uh, songs slash cartoons that didn't make the cut, A breakthrough. and someone brought up the, the, the King Arthur show, it's like King Arthur and the, the, the Knights of Justice or something like that. Which is a show about a football team that was transported Steady back yourself. in time to the Arthurian era. And, like, they fight in, in wars, and, it, like, it, it's, it's wild. And I almost just want to watch that. Like, well, once I inevitably stop playing video games, which m maybe never happens, Bravo. but we'll see. I think I'll just shift my content to watching 80s cartoons. Just the most ridiculous stuff we can find. That, of course, being a perfect example. Because I very much want to watch that show now. Until the next test is put before you. And I think some of that stuff is actually like public domain too. Or at least not, like, something I need to be uh, petrified by the copyright repercussions of. An impressive haul. Put it to good use. I say all that to say I also think that a show called Thick Jesus would have dominated the airwaves back in those days. Would have been a little bold, but God, I wish they'd done it. Love the Assay gear early on, of course. Thank you very much, game. Yeah, solid cash early. This is a weird tangle. Is this like a region condition? No, it's just... Very narrow. It's odd. I'm going to avoid the hospital if I want candles, which obviously we're not really concerned about. Might hit this lair. I feel like we got a pretty good squad for it. We got a lot of backline targeting. I don't know how high the general's blight resistance is, though. Among the things I can never recall. The 80s was a wild time for cartoons. Like, so many old, odd ideas got published. It was a fucking free-for-all, and it was beautiful. 
Yeah, man, that was a, uh, a heck of a time to be creative, quote unquote. There's, there's got to be just like an endless well of options there, too. Yeah, Jackie Chan Adventures back in the day. Have you heard of Cadillacs and Dinosaurs? This is immediately going on the list. That's the thing. It's like on name alone, you can tell already. Oh, this is going to be phenomenal. Samurai Pizza Cats. Like, come on. There's, there's something broken in your mind if you don't want to immediately see that. Cadillacs and Dinosaurs had an SNES game. That's outstanding. Oh, that makes me real happy. Yeah, there, were, there was a lot of crossover there, too. I remember playing the um, Asterix and Obelisk game on the Sega Genesis. Which was another 80s cartoon, I believe. That might have even been a little earlier than that. I remember that game also being impossibly difficult. Yeah, sure, Grim. Yeah, that's what we were just talking about, PK. The King Arthur and the Knights of Justice. I think it wasn't actually called that. Deliberate and methodical appliance of harm. Yeah, uh, pretty wild stuff. Lion King game, yeah, oh yeah. Speaking of mineable content. Let's try to beat the second level on that goddamn thing. Pro Stars was a superhero cartoon show with Wayne Gretzky, Michael Jordan, and Bo... Isn't it Bo Jackson? A simple solution. Carl? I don't know who Bo Dallas is. That's getting a little low. There was an Asterix and Obelisk game. Yeah, it was like back in the early 90s, I want to say, when that came out. Oh, Mighty Max as well. Wasn't that a show about a mouse? I don't think I ever saw that one either. Uh, probably need some more healing done, right? Let's see. Yeah, let's, let's play it safe here. I made it all the way to the Oasis after Simba has to leave the Pride Lands in the SNES Lion King game. Steady we are not worthy. Ladies and gentlemen, we found the ultimate gamer. If you didn't watch Fraggle Rock, we can't be friends. I almost had to include the Fraggle Rock theme song in the best cartoon theme song bracket, despite it not being a cartoon, because it's that good. I don't recall a lot of the show itself, to be honest. Maybe it's just because the theme song occupied such a large chunk of my Fraggle Rock section in my mind. A kid named Max with a hat that allowed him to travel through portals. Oh! Yeah, no, that's not at all what I thought it was. That sounds cool. Kind of Danny Phantom-esque? Straightforward and effective. Ish. Esque ish. Somehow I think we missed the Smurfs. Yeah, that was, that was a classic for sure. Although I have seen quite a bit of the Smurfs. Which, come to think of it... Cut down these nightmares and blaze the trail to your redemption. What would that have been playing on? I guess that could have been on, like, PBS or something. I don't know. I was a cable kid, so I was watching a lot of Nickelodeon and Cartoon Network back in the day. At least didn't have cable, so I heard childhood cartoon experience was wildly different slash not really all that present 
You can tell that there's a road fight coming up ahead. That's interesting. Didn't really used to be the case, but that as a result of this uh, addition to possible road fight encounters, I guess that's a... I wonder if that's really... The, I mean, they clearly must have known that could happen. I like it. That does inform us. Oh, we already lost our armor here too. Yes, yeah, so I guess that's not really gonna matter. I think I will go for the general here. I think we can handle it. Even with a road fight ahead of it. We got some stimulants too. I think we're doing doing pretty well. I'm I'm a hundred percent in agreement, Ace. I was so upset by uh Magic School Bus's first round exit yesterday. A calculated generosity. But a welcome one, nonetheless. They got a tough draw, though, yeah. Bucky O'Hare. All I can think of with Bucky O'Hare is uh, J. Smith OTI speedruns. That game, that's just a game in my brain. Nothing more. All right, let's see here. Sort of been a playing a little dissection. mindlessly through An the early game. End. Let's actually use some blight for once. Second chance bracket, little loser's bracket action, yeah. The return of Arthur, which also got the the short straw. One of my co-workers has never seen Lord of the Rings, Star Wars, Star Trek, or any of the conversational prerequisites. What do we do? You ask them what they've been up to because clearly they've found an alternative that we should be a little more interested in. You ask them how they're spending their time. Because I gotta know. for you. Oh, I didn't even realize, actually. Yeah, they swap position here. This is ideal. I don't even have to deal with the gate anymore. So let's kill him. Oh, jeez. That sucks. Eh, might as well heal again, I guess. This road cannot be walked alone. He does need it. Come on up. No? Bummer. Boy, yeah, that is, uh, that's a little low there. Obviously, the stress healing is not really a thing at this point either. Eh, I don't really want to do this, but so be it. Maybe I'll be able to heal him one more time, too. Probably give him one more indiscriminate science before we get out of here. Eh, never mind. I think I need to give him a self heal for the first couple of general encounter Cut fights. Down these nightmares and blaze the trail to your redemption. Actually, let's swap over to endure and oh, we already have endure equipped, right? Yeah, we're gonna swap necrosis for deathless. No, he can't heal himself with that, can he? Let's see, sepsis. Yeah, let's do that instead. Oh, or Lash's Gift. Yeah, I was, I was thinking I might end up coming back to this anyway. All right, fair enough. I'll do that. Right, and then we're going to more than likely use Endure to trigger a uh, possible Toxic here. Once it's general time. Let's also make sure we've got some nice combat items equipped just in case. It is good to have stuff like the Linseed Oil Flask in this encounter. Able to target the tap root with that as well. Nice. All right, we should check the skills too, just to make sure. Yeah, we're good. We're good. Lashes is only from the second rank. Within every keep, a general and his loyal lumbering guard. Doesn't look like it. Um, you can move. Come on up here. Or not. Eh, it doesn't really matter. The enemy weakens and wins. I'm gonna blight the hell out of you no matter what. 
That's one down. Although this is maybe a situation I should have considered starting with a heal on, but a little late for that, I guess. She's going to be able to take care of her own stress. Let's go ahead and let that happen now. This dude's dead already. Finish him, kick it through the block. Let's go for that. And yeah, let's try to take care of the poor guy. And a rough go. Little lashes early on. Oh, that uh, requires minus or below 20% HP. Geez, so that's just above the threshold there. It's gonna be rare opportunities to utilize that, it turns out. This will be an effective alternative, at least. Uh, might as well. Oh, I got the chance. And yeah, let's go ahead and finish him off with the blight. Malaise. Measured and steady. Stun looking good here or not. I actually need a heal on him, too. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. There it is. Surprise death fight in the lair. I'd be down with that. That sounds like fun. Catch me sleeping. A slow dissection. Like the snooze in general. An unavoidable end. All right. Yeah. Happy to take a couple more licks there to get him healed up again. A deliberate and methodical appliance of harm. It was really fun for me too, Pyramid. Yeah, I had a good time. Uh, I think this exclamation point themes command works. Yeah, if you want to take a look at all the theme songs that Pond gathered together for us to utilize. A lot of those YouTube links. Yeah, it's a nice little trip down memory lane there for sure. All right, buddy. Lenity. Grace. Small acts that drive back the darkness. You get a little bit better prep for the possible toxic trigger here. Moving on. Stun time. Much more concerning enemy lineup this time around. Apparently they are... Uh, can't even be blighted here either. I love the the freeze that occurred immediately uh, after posting that link in chat of what I can only assume to be everybody collectively going on that trip down memory lane together. <laughs> Hold on for a minute, Bear. I'll be back for the general fight, but first I have to listen to this DuckTales theme song on repeat for the next five minutes. I get it. That's fair. <laughs> I did the same thing. Goof troop. Yeah, there you go. Well, that's a good stuff. All right. Well, Blight's already sufficient for the drummer, shockingly, so... Shit, man. I guess I'll just heal again. A small foundation of trust. That was not a toxic trigger I was counting on this early, obviously, but uh, not a big deal. On to the next. Probably want to go ahead and try to. All oh, right, yeah, our stuns on cooldown too. Get through the shield there. Yeah, this is uh, this is potentially risky. He just keeps staying low. I think it will endure on the uh, Bounty Hunter slash Grave Robber again, and then let's just keep trying to get him back into a better position here. Oh, why did I think she had the stress heal on that? I'm silly. She hasn't upgraded that yet. Kind of wasteful turns. Oh, well. I guess I could get a crit self-heal from the... Uh, Lash's gift. He ends up getting swung out again here. That's probably the worth it. And wanes. Ooh, nice. This could be an instrument of science bonus as well. Let's 
if I can just stun him for a little while and fix this up in the meantime. Yeah, she doesn't really need to do that, so I guess we'll just go for a little more blight, whatever. Oh, uh, yeah, that'd probably be more effective, wouldn't it? No, I don't think it would, actually. I think I'd rather do this. A little help, impeccably done. Oh, but then he's not going to be on the threshold for lashes. Ah, oh, that was stupid. No, he doesn't want to hurt himself anymore, I guess, so... Let's get closer to the indoor here. It's just a stun on him anyway. Okay, oh, right, now, now I can do an, an indiscriminate science as well. That works. Did it right. All right, she is topped off and ready to go. We get this now. Do another endure before the end of it. Let's go there. Okay. All right, yeah, this is a pretty damn good situation to be in for the uh, general fight. Footman's Grog, Hail Draft, Unwavering Standard. General's Dream, not terrible for this team either. Let's do it. He has retreated, undying, into a dream. That ain't even go, uh, stay. pretty well for us here. And that strength start either. Let's save that in case of emergency. We're going to go ahead and apply some vulnerable here if we can. That works too. It's the extra blight chance here. Uh, stimulants early on? Yeah, why not? Oh, although, no, that's, that's wasted. Also, man, blight not working out so far. Let's see. I need to do it more and more early on. I'm going to get the stress no matter what, so let's just take, I suppose, the most possible blight we can apply early on here. Man, that's unfortunate. Man, that was easy. All right, there we go. So obviously the relationships are taking a huge hit here. But uh, first of all, we have Bounty Hunter in, so that's not going to be too big of an issue. And uh, second of all, totally worth it. Totally, totally worth it. A slow dissection. An unavoidable end. We're pretty likely to get several uh, triggers of this toxic going here, so. A breakthrough. Happy to make the trade. A master stroke. Nice bit of blight and damage there off the grenade. Get the acid rain going here. Although we are going to have to start thinking about his HP in a second. And another blight resist is really unfortunate. I think it's the opposite, Josh. I'll double check, though. Looks like it's going to be more and more time, so let's go ahead and... Uh, actually, let's use the linseed oil to get the second hit on the taproot this time around. I think it's best to continue to use that, and then... Let's save the crit, I suppose, for an acid rain coming up. I definitely want to go for the uh, self-heal on this one. And this is going to be a boom. Boom. What's the advantage of making Flagellant toxic? Anytime the general interacts with him, we get a chance to deal two additional blight. And that's going to add up real fast. So yeah, it's 6 to 10 versus... Oh yeah, you're right. It is more base damage. My bad. I think I was just mostly... Oh yeah, it's more crit chance for the finish end. That's why... Not to mention the execution. That's why I've been leaning that way lately. Good call. That's not too bad. I'm certainly hoping to see a few more flagellant targets there. That's okay, though. Uh, let's go with more blight. Genius. I think I can do it. Stuff. Acid rain's a little risky here, but I think is still probably the play, not to mention the self damage is going to be recuperated by the more and more. So, works well enough, I guess. Roots cleared. Right here. No fear. Bears here. I'm not sure whether or not that will be an opportunity for the Toxic to hit. I think it is. And I think a couple of those have also landed already. So yeah, going pretty well so far. 
Round five, staying alive. Uh, Acid Rain is a little risky this time around, so I think I'll go for the oil play again. Oil is honestly a fantastic thing to have in this fight. Malaise. Measured and steady. This really doesn't get used all that much otherwise. Probably time to try this. A slow dissection. Fortunate. An unavoidable end. Take another quick nine damage there. Uh, more and more could be effective here. This also stop him from being targeted by additional attacks. Uh, the bleed's sketchy, but it is also just another pain trigger, I guess. Oh, right. Yeah, no, of course, those aren't going to be something that's a toxic chance because that's not actually him doing the targeting, so that makes sense. Uh, the DOT, I think, is, yeah, it's going to bring, bring him down to death's doors here, here, so I'm thinking maybe we want to try to deal enough damage uh, prior to the bounty hunter's action so we could get an execute, so I think if I do this, it's obviously going to make that a lot more likely for him, and then let's see if I can maybe get lucky with a crit here as well. Nice. That's fantastic. All right, yeah, he's going to take the DOT tick already. Strength was unnecessary. Just kind of hope he doesn't die to the bleed out here, I guess. Thank you. There remains a foothold out of this mire. Cool. Now climb. Bye bye. General signing off. An inkling of potency still lingers in some of these well-worn relics. Not too bad. Solid trinkets out of that. A usable trophy. Nothing really exciting about it, but it's the job done. The loathing whispers. That was pretty quick. Yeah, that went pretty well. Six or seven rounds there. No sweat. Let's do... He's getting weakened from something. Not sure what it is. Or he was getting weakened from something. Huh. Maybe not. Wasn't there somebody dealing with weak in here? Yeah, guess not. Oh, is it the first trinket? No, that's uh, vulnerable. Although, that'd be complimentary, wouldn't it? Yeah. In case he does miss, he can convert it to a block at the end of it. You can have this. You can have that for now. Don't get the unwavering standard, too. Cool. Looking good. Thanks, Impresario. I was pretty pleased with that. The loathing festers. Do have a likely meltdown coming up on the bounty hunter. Hoping to avoid it on the grave robber. I might have to use the endure again. Resigned to the end of things. Huh. They waited for death. And still they wait. Leeches. Subspecies I don't recognize. This has been a, an eventful first region. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and pop our glimmers while we're at it here. See about. Oh yeah, their blight resist up front's really, really high. Not likely to land that. A breakthrough. She is kind of an issue here, isn't it? Toxic is a uh, pretty good option in this fight as well. Although, yeah, a little late there, but we can still save her, hopefully. Maybe Resolute? Eh, not a big deal. Didn't even get a negative quirk out of it. Nice. Well, we're certainly going to be looking to use the taunt on the flagellant here. Avoid further complications there, and then hopefully get a quick battlefield medicine. We're going to have to find some straight-up damage for these boys up front, though. And I think a pirouette will do just that. Not to mention, also lowering their Blight Resist in the future. And we got a Stress Heal Mark, too. Nice. Blight is nearly enough there. I think we'll probably just do this since we already have the Taunt up. Yeah, Bounty Hunter doesn't affect relationships, thankfully. Uh, let's get the finish here. It'll make to the things next. a lot easier for us. Too worried about the stress there. Honestly, probably to our advantage. She's down. Let's go with this. Pretty good position now. 
Still got to get the heal on the bounty hunter, but we'll take care of that in a minute. Closing in on that, or closing in on that toxic trigger. We'll save that for next round, hopefully. Actually got the blight off that too. Nice. A calculated generosity, but a welcome one nonetheless. Okay. Looking good. I'm going to go ahead and save the kill for next round as well here so we can get our bonus action ideally coming up against the next set of enemies. Uh, taunt into a bounty hunter kill. He's got the blind, so I'm taking a chance on that, but we can always stall for an extra round as well if we need to. In fact, I might just do that. I think I will. Yeah, let's go for the uh, let's go for the uppercut first, I guess. A miscalculation, perhaps. And he's likely to be. Oh no, never mind. I was gonna say likely to be targeted, but we got the taunt there instead. So that leaves us with the indiscriminate science, which we could do there, or we could just give that to him, or do this. But I probably want to save that for when we're going up against the uh, actual Chirurgian fight. I suppose a lunge is good as good as anything here, and that. Although, again, I kind of want to save this for first action kill so we can get the bonus round. There we go. Straightforward and effective. Sadly added stress from that for some reason. You first, buddy. And I think it's endure time. That boy is toxic. Let's see. A nice little self heal out of that too. Blight chance, really? Oh wow! All oh, right, God, I, I forget every time. Do not dot the Chirurgian. He's just gonna regen off of it. That ain't gonna work. All right, we can get the other two, but we have to find a new way there as well. Yeah, honestly, this team might... Uh, without the Bounty Hunter, we would be struggling a lot. Thank goodness we got him for this. Uh, bleed's probably worth our Battlefield Medicine. Oh, never mind. We found a new one. Oh, I didn't get the Bleed, though. Okay. Lash's Gift is nice. Okay. I'll have the stun this time. Uh, let's just keep going here. I really want to try to get a numbers advantage early on this one. All right, not too bad. Sweat soaked brow. Ah, oh, the rabies. Steady stances. This had an unfortunate impact here. Gets the crit on his boy too. That sucks. Anxiety for men. Oh, hey, thank you. Fears. I was just complaining about that. Appreciate it. There we go. Bounty hunter fixed up pretty nicely. Tempting to go with an acid rain in this situation, but I think it is more and more. Gonna slow this down a little bit after this crit. Hold fast, for who knows what lurks in the beyond. Leads yet again, unfortunately. I think I'll try for the combo play here. An opportunity. Oh boy, those blinds have been brutal. The cultist is gonna rejoin the party and be like, "What the fuck happened?" He's gonna have a lot of questions. Man, this giant might end up being the first target here. Huh. Well, it's getting weaker, I guess. Malaise. Ooh, boy. And steady. That's another crit off the beef trussing band, thank goodness. I think it might just have to go ahead and self-heal, though. Yeah. This is sketchy, dude. Get more blood, I guess. Done again. Not that time. Got the knockback, though. Boy, oh boy. No luck with the blight on the toxic, either. Ew, man, that sucks. He is playing this to perfection here. Um, I gotta do something. I got. Oh, this is not working, man. Crit there's not going to make a huge difference. Do I just keep blighting this guy? I think so. Oh, uh, no. God damn it. I don't like this. Darkness encroaches. 
the next uh, one. And then, of course, Toxics are just going to be taken away. Hmm, I don't, I don't know. I maybe shouldn't have taken this encounter, man. I underestimated their potential. Good old flagellant on death's door, huh? Might be tootin' time. Keep self-healing, I suppose. Jeez. Self-reliance is a rare and wonderful thing. Thank goodness for the dodge. Okay, at least we got that. DOT team versus DOT healer. Yeah, and it is going about how you'd expect with that exp explanation. I would not clear guarded, huh? Shit. Hmm. He's already down to death's door. Relief comes rarely in these times. Savor it. That feels right to me. I could still execute. That's big. That's a game changer right there. Okay, let's see. Chance to crit. Still pretty solid damage. Another five up front, potentially. Not quite. No blight. Okay. Hey, Daniel. Run was going pretty well up to this point. We're having a bit of a sketchy encounter here. But I do think we're going to be able to get through it. Warhorn helping us out quite a bit as well. Get the combo off this. That's a spike skullcat bleed, sadly. I've got a lot of DOT going on now. Oh, I should have cleared that corpse first. Oh, wait, no, we killed the giant first, didn't we? That's right. I don't, th I don't think he can resurrect. He might be able to. Let's make sure he doesn't, I guess. That's a pretty good option here, anyway. Malaise. Oh, goodness. Measured and steady. Just relentless. Keep healing. A calculated generosity. But a welcome one, nonetheless. Big combo hit for the collect bounty. Yet another bleed off of that, though. Good dodge. Okay. No blight here. Go for the pure wet. Get yet another bleed off of that. Can't or unlikely to stun, so just keep going. But he just keeps landing those spike skull caps. Shit, is that like? Oh, it's guaranteed. That's why. Well, I guess we have our bleed resist, but it's gonna happen otherwise. Alrighty. Cool down on that one. I think it might be worth it for the four blight. Maybe. Probably not. I mean, math wise, no. So, really, that's all that matters, isn't it? <laughs> if you look at the numbers strictly, it doesn't make any sense. A little help impeccably timed. Who would do that? When you could go off your emotions, how it feels to do it. All right, we do have an execution opportunity here. Fatigue. So I think we just do that. Maybe just let her pass turn, I guess. Um, yeah. Because then he just dies. Holy cow, it's very slightly worth it. True, I guess if you consider the raw damage. The Wainwright awaits, eager to ply his trade. And a fun little combat item there, along with the appalling apron. Not bad. The loathing abates. Hmm. I haven't been getting a lot of value out of this butressing band. I'll give it to her instead. Oh, this is why we've been dealing with the weaken. The unwavering standard. You know, weaken on miss if you're first in the combat order. So I guess we could just give this to her instead. Yeah, that'd probably be better. 
Consider all variables, but do it quickly. I kind of want to go to the hospital. How many relics we got? Yeah, I need some stress healing. Travel without proper reconnaissance. A hasty and reckless thing indeed. What do you know, dude? Need some stress healing, Bear? I got you covered. Oh, hell yeah. The ultimate outcome. Four spring waters, five stress healed. Excellent. A simple choice. Oh, baby. At least it should be. The path selection healing three additional stress. The loathing whispers. The hospital stress heal on top of that. Bounty hunter's not even gonna have a meltdown. Let's go. Although it wouldn't really matter that much to be honest, but I'll take it. Do I want to get rid of Melophobic? Kind of. I don't think it's worth the cost, though. Yeah, I don't think so. All right. Much better shape now. And we got some lawn them. Cool. Pacifist is pretty bad too, yeah, especially with the stress being as high as, high as it is. A renewal. Welcome back. Captain London. Welcome back. Thank you for the prime sub. Appreciate it. Bear hugs, please, for him. At the end of this dang region, dude. Hell yeah. I don't feel the love from the pile, please. Thank you for the prime. We'll come on back in. It's finally blight time. Oh boy. Uh, he's gonna have a meltdown if I don't do this, so. Yeah, we better do it. A master stroke. Grave Robber does have cosmic slayers yet uh, as well. Very true. So we should try to take advantage of that. Welcome back. Mentropy, thank you for the prime. Guys, drag them back down. They're not. They're, they're just sitting on top. That's what you allow to happen in the absence of bear hugs. Is they're just they're just sitting on your face, not in a good way. Don't make it weird. I'm just gonna let that happen. Well, now I, I, I can't I can't escape from the the whole, the hole I've put myself in with that phrasing. Thank you for the resubs. Welcome back. Why mark the shields away when you can just smack them in the face? Goodness, we don't even really, like, need to use this spring water here. Pretty dope, dude. I'll use that. Man, this was a heck of a recovery fight for us. Already basically calling this done. Malaise. Measured and steady. A little flame strength, nice. Unlikely to be able to get the finish of execution, but. The enemy weakens and wanes. That's a little greedy anyway. Oh, look, I can use the burn self that I just unequipped, didn't I? God damn it. I put that on instead because I thought to myself, certainly there's not really going to be a lot of burn healing opportunities. Oopsie. Uh, well, I guess you can do that. Might as well top her off. And speak of the witch. Sure. Maybe we'll do a little endure here too. EOD! Welcome back. Drag him on back a down into the bear pile. Appliance of harm. Get another resubscription. Welcome in. Or welcome back rather. Thank you very much. There's the cosmic slayer. 
The work continues. Are she be a simple variable, easily resolved. All right, that was a big confidence boost right there. Sadly, no unforgettable trinkets. Just the dark impulse there. We get another hail draft, but. I guess I got better look for more Oblivion encounters. Whispers. So I'll get more chances to take advantage of this baby shambler we're rocking here. And some blight resist to her, I guess, and then maybe give this to Hmm. Who wants this actually? I'm pretty happy with what she's got going on. I guess you can have it. Well the loss of crit chance is sad. We're really not going to need a dark impulse anyway, so I guess we could probably just dump this, but... I don't necessarily need the space just yet. Boom, boom. Save those. Several mastery points for our first region. I already got our trophy looking pretty good. Going to be able to get the Asse gear attached now as well. The familiar heart. Crackles inviting thee once again. Boisterous. He, 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 boisterous upon his return is our Lord and Savior, Thick Jesus. That's fantastic. I have come to save you, sinners. Look at that. A little experimental remedy. Just a little something I've been working on. Each improvement. A new variable in the equation of your fate. Heck of an upgrade to the stagecoach. Cranky Ninetales looking nice. Explosive magazine and medicine chest. Consider your position and plan accordingly. That's an insta pick, especially given there's no rewards to really entice us. Going to those other regions. All the whiskey barrels is nice. Do still have the resolute to deal with, but it's probably still worth it. Oh, we could wild tee that away, actually. Hold on, it might be worth it too. That's on the uh, occultists, right? Or who's that on? Oh, nobody has resolute. Nice. No problem then. Conventional fare, but fairly priced. Um, pipe weed. That's a lot of pipe weed, dude. Found the plug. I already have a lot of food, actually. I don't necessarily need to buy more of that. A little whiskey. A bit of comfort. On the road to damnation. Need a bit of whiskey? To go along with the little bit of whiskey? No need for the utility belt anymore. Let's see what the occultist drink is going to look like here. I wouldn't mind giving him the greater, greater hail draft. And you can go ahead and add those into the mix too. Get him fed real fast. Double bread just for the sluice here is probably going to be sufficient. Yeah, saw one of those get down to one. That's no good. Zero, even better. Good lord. I guess they don't like to drink as much as the typical party. What the hell? All right, well, I'm gonna work on these two. <laughs> Can't get any lower. There we go. Something positive. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make you drink till you like it. I mean, I guess you can't. You, the only reason you're not disagreeing on this one is because you can't. Boy, they are going to be... This is, like, getting medically concerning at this point. Give them a little too much whiskey. Yeah, that went poorly, dude. That was not a good result there. Experience. However painful, is the greatest teacher of all. Hail Fiend! The only new member of the 100-month club, Hail Fiend, with the 96. Please give him some more bear hugs. How dark was it? Let me start upgrading this blight application here, too. Let's see. Malediction? For the additional... Lowered blight resistance. Tempting. Nah, I think I go with the uh, with the clear cut options to begin with. I'm gonna go ahead and upgrade flashing daggers too. Actually, yeah, I'm gonna be using that a little bit more often. I think. 
Into the sluice we go. I feel like our trinkets are already pretty well set, but you know what? I'm going to buy a goddamn greater cleansing sensor. It's crazy. It might be the first time that's ever happened. Let's do it. Hey, no negative relationship. Nice. That's a relief. Tread carefully and quickly. This is swine country. In we go. Gotta hit those piles, man. Big time to save your value. Especially with the uh, sluice out of it now. It's gonna help a lot. Now hopefully we can fix these dang relationships. The whiskey's good, but you're terrible. Yeah, uh, apparently. On our first look at the, uh, the proper composition here. Start flashing. Obviously, the this sluice is going to be uh, somewhere where our blight application struggles a little bit more, but should still be able to get quite a bit out. I mean, she's certainly not going to struggle. Making Anamnesis is a good look early on. This dude's already dead. Oh my god. Might as well acid rain. Nah, that's just a normal big pig. Wilbur uh, has a pretty unique look to him. Let's get the blight resist in the back that time. Hold fast. Yikes. For who knows what lurks in the beyond. Big damage on the pig sticker there. Stress free though. Hey, how about that? That feels pretty good. Let's go ahead and and just a wee bit more. I was thinking, yeah, we might have to go for a battlefield medicine there, too. Although he does have quite a bit more HP than your typical occultist, so. Shouldn't be a problem. Weakened here as well. No sweat. Bye bye. Might even heal himself, actually. Yeah, that'll do the job on it. Perfect. Calculated generosity. What a welcome one, nonetheless. And we'll just go ahead and let him get the job done himself. Persistence will overcome even the greatest of threats. You're making bacon? That's an ideal time. Maybe just don't source your meat from here. Greater threats await those who dare. Welcome back. Crusty Rhino! The loathing whispers. Welcome back. Keep the bear hugs coming for him, please. Thank you for yet another prime. Appreciate you. Suppose this would be pretty beneficial to her, wouldn't it? Yeah. Let me get that crit chance back. I don't think we really need to worry about her HP all that much. She good. Oh, right, yeah. The whole sluice thing. Tread carefully and quickly, etc. Do not mind seeing a shambler. Oh, did I just queue it up? Come on. Come on. All right, fine. Ah, jeez. Another minus two. Heart shaped padlock on resolute add two positive tokens. Eh. That's a fun content trinket, I guess. Eh, screw it, sure. Just in case. She's not really going to be having a lot of stress checks, I don't think, though, especially with her own self-stress healing being a thing. Reported by denizens of the small hamlet nestled on the eastern coast. Doesn't somebody have a positive quirk that adds to their chance for it as well? 
The ma uh, no, I think that was the uh, man at arms that we were looking at or somebody in the roster. For the content, always for the content. Speaking of which. Take them on. Take them on. Why we gotta be so disagreeable all damn day? Oh, that is scary. Normally you'd think I wouldn't be so worried about a few little pigs, but... When you get four of them together like this, there's, there's no bueno. Yeah, I'll probably put it on the flagellant instead. It'll be a little better. They really are the toxic party. Yeah, no kidding, huh? Likely to be able to apply some blight at least. I mean, they are not ordained, thankfully, so it'll be pretty easy to kill them, but I'm just going to deal a lot of damage before that. This is no time to falter. And the taunt. Three little pigs, not that big a deal, but four. Yeah, that's why, that's why the story stopped there, because that's when the pigs called in their pig cousin and his little friend to go sort out that big bad wolf. Man, I missed that, dude. That move is fun. That dude is dead. <laughs> Fourth thing makes this house out of violence. The joke I wish I'd come up with. Well done, plus two. Right then. What was I so worried about? Come on, bear. Oh, I was wondering why that dealt so much damage, and then I remembered we've got the general trophy. That's fun, at least. An actual use out of the chalk dust for once. Oh, wow, and a stress heal, too. Well done. Scavenge what you can, and be off once more. This Flagge's toxic count as resolute. Oh yeah, I didn't even consider that. Probably we not. Venture blindly forth, at the mercy of the road, and I its mean, myriad dangers. It's almost certainly never gonna trigger is the thing. I don't think we're ever gonna allow anybody besides the Flagellant to hit a meltdown here, barring like ridiculous circumstances. In before this is instantly a trigger. Jesus, no one wants to do the same thing here, besides flee, which we're not allowing. Maybe you can unequip Pirouette. Oh, that's a good point, yeah, because we got the immobilization. I didn't even think about that. Indeed. It's not the Resolute nor Meltdown. Right, it's toxic. Yeah, so that checks out. Alrighty. Big blade time. Strength dwindles. Big blade time. A little black for everybody. And might need a ton. They're likely to clear these unless I can get through to them first, which we can. Nice. Yeah, I'll just do a grenade up front. Man, that is good may want to conserve his unchecked power here. I think I do. Save the Anamnesis potentially for the next round. Definitely should taunt now. There we go. Yeah, but it's literally impossible for her to get into a position to be able to use a pure, uh, pure wet now. There he's just fully immobilized. Um, let's see. Yeah, it works. I still want to save the Anamnesis, right? Yeah, absolutely. So, yeah, I guess we should just go for it. We're going to have a next time or next turn anyway. Um, eh. Good enough. Spooters? Scooters. Which, thankfully for us, is actually pretty damn good. Just go more and more again and soak up all the blight up front. 
Come on, right through the dodge, buddy. Ooh, actually, here we go. Another fantastic use of the chalk dust. No more dodge for the spooters. Hell yeah. We do have pretty high blight resist, but... Probably not going to matter too much. Oh, right. Yeah, and her stealth. Oh, my God. That blight is pretty ridiculous. They're dead already. Oh, my God. This was perfect. Ideal outcome. No worries. I'm blind up front. Dead, dead, dead. Dead to bleed. That, that's done deal. Oh my god. Round five creature down. That's quick. That is really goddamn good. Yeah, might as well. Make sure she's fully out of harm's way. No need to do anything else here. Might as well endure her here, I guess. Heal back to full. Both dead to DOT. Wonderful. Might be able to battlefield medicine then. Nice. Man. Couldn't ask for much better than that, dude. Well done, team. Great weakening curse, just to rub it in. A steady subtraction. An invariable result. Let's go three mastery. Pretty good be able to find a better trinket here. Our trinkets are pretty good at this point, but the loathing festers. They can always get better. That's a couple of mastery points coming out of the sluice, right? Well, one at least, but that's still nice. Oh boy. Don't miss the damn pile, buddy. That's where the big money's at. Oh yeah, the pirouette. I'll do it when we get to the end here. Well, what will we use though? The fire is lit. The table is set. Ooh. The inn awaits its favorite guest. Bloodthirsty for thick Jesus is fun. Even stronger anamnesis now. I think we'll go pick to the face here. Also ignores block. Absinthe is an option here too. Glint would also be pretty good. I think I'll go Glint actually. Yeah, that sounds better. The provinces and cantrebs of our land crumbling and on oh no she can't use cause of death anymore i didn't even think about it man that sucks yeah maybe we'll go mag rain then probably blinding gas actually nah let's do mag rain i'll nah, we'll do blinding gas either way uh definitely not going feeder i'm gonna be able to blight too much in there so looks like we're heading the sprawl this time all great cities burn all that beauty and knowledge Ash on the wind. A couple of songbooks. Everybody loves flatjacks. Anything that lets us travel further is worth the cost. Cool. Let's see if we can improve things a little bit here, for God's sake. Ah, oh, we got another melophobic after that, too. That sucks. Your coach must be maintained if it is to carry you where you must go. Um, let's keep working on these two, I think. God damn it, man. Misses the mark? Come on. Oh, jeez. Not getting a lot of help in the end. Spend what you can. For wealth no longer has meaning. If indeed it ever did. They're in it. Let's see. Yeah, I think trinkets are looking pretty solid now. Mastery time. Listen. Practice. Improve. I think we'll go... Let's see. Why well, just gift? Doesn't get that much better, does it? Yeah, it really just adds strength and changes it to the dodge plus. Anamnesis can be fun. With the bloodthirsty, especially. I think it's a pretty good idea. With the poison dart there. Yeah, that's pretty good. The best blight trinkets are in the feeder. That's a valid point. And there's a mastery point, too. No oases avoid the hoarder? We can do that. Hmm. 
Um, we can't shadow fade. I don't think tech. I'm pretty sure you have to be frontier ranks for that. The farms and fields of uh, our kingdom overrun with putrescence and rot. It seems counterintuitive, obviously. Let's go to the blight area with the blight team, but yeah, we might be able to find some 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 help for the blight build here. I don't know, man. I think I'd, I'd rather just go this way. Ah, oh, but now it feels wrong. Damn it. I don't know what to do. Let's just do this. Good enough. Baby's easiest with the general trophy. Not wrong. Yeah. Resentment. The slowest and deadliest poison of them all. That's not too bad, I guess. Forced equip of ounce is kind of crappy. Here we go. The rancid crop grows unchecked and abhorrent. Mm, looks like it unequipped the right thing already, so we're good to go. Let's do it. When deliberation is exhausted, trust your instinct. Go into the right to avoid the hoarder. Still got a lair accessible after that. I feel like we might be able to even blight the Harvest Child well enough. Man. We got a pretty nice token situation going on here, huh? Big time crit blight takes out the burner in the second rank. Holy cow. This is going to be a fun combat for these guys. Already is. We get a mod check for the prediction as well. Measured and steady. Mod check, mod check. I feel like the weakened tokens aren't going to matter too much on the plague doctor either. Thankfully. A slow dissection. She's done. He's done. An unavoidable end. Not even be able to utilize anamnesis. We're going to have to. We're going to kill everything before we even get a chance. Bravo. Big time crit blight. Hell yeah! I got the. Uh, pip from that too. Thank you. Thank you, hey. Um. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's gonna be a done deal before he even development. gets his opportunity here. Make sure no further issues arise. Uh, finish you off. No sweat. Yep, they're all dead. Cool. Yeah, might as well. More corpses. For cleanup. Hey, Tweedle. No heals available, sadly, so. Just pop that, I guess. And then we could do an indoor here, actually. That's not a bad idea. Hopefully, one little corpse clear. Nice. Let's go. A deliberate and methodical appliance of harm. If not to bet, Tech, exactly. Bet them all. True daily double all day long. Although with those odds, yeah, it is pretty tempting to be a doubter, isn't it? Could go south on the child fight. You never know. We've turned better Little runs into worse outcomes. Struggle and be humbled by it. Yeah, like a scout here. The pip in particular. Pretty easy road. Really easy road if I want it. And I might. I will head to the uh, lair, which will thankfully allow us to maintain our armor too. Not too bad. This is going smooth. Just those dang relationships. I, it's it's upsetting to me. Giving into madness is easier than holding out against it. That they have so much. They 
synergy mechanically, but the opposite is true of their engagements with each other. You'd think they'd find common ground in their collective desire to watch an enemy's face melt off. But no. I'm pretty sure I want to put Demon's Pole back on. And that I may never use Malediction. Because I'm missing having it as much as we don't necessarily need it. It's just a fun skill to use. Malaise. Measured and steady. Yeah, they certainly have shown at least the collective desire to be little whiny babies. Maybe we could find some common ground there. The slow suffering begins. I'm gonna taunt again, bud. Let's see here. Uh, looks like a poison dart. That'll be just enough in the back. Nice. Go ahead and chaotic. May actually end up going for the malediction for the first time here, it looks like, actually. Bravo! Given his freaking HP bar. Can endure on this, I think. Lenity. Grace. Small acts that drive back the dog. Oh, he's already below half, for God's sake, so maybe. A master stroke. Maybe not so necessary. Holy cow, yeah, we really don't need it at all, but we'll do it for fun, I guess. Try to get a couple more stress points removed here. I think I'll endure one more time, but eh. A slow Certainly don't necessarily want him going toxic either. End. Get a little stress heal off that. One more. There we go. Feeling a little better. Bye bye. Weakening curse may be worth upgrading too. I think that gets its cooldown removed on upgrade, which would be pretty big for him. In crisis, no gain is insignificant. Let's take a peek. Nah, it's still got the cooldown, unfortunately. All right. Bummer. It removes crit tokens. Eh. You must be strong enough to shoulder more than your share of the burden. Oh, I should have got food there, actually. Oh, that's pretty good, though. Yeah, I love death cap spores. That might even help us a lot in the, uh, the Harvest Child fight, actually. Cool. Good, fine, worth it. Yeah, I wouldn't mind getting a uh, better trophy here, too, like we saw, like, the immobilization's nice and all, but it is also, unfortunately, as we just realized, kind of limiting our options. Flapjacks, let's go. They revel in debauchery, debasing themselves in the face of the end. Turns out I didn't actually need those, uh, or the food from those people. All right, let's do it. Another pip. Seeing some improvement, dude. It's an elite Carl. With his Lord Wiener back. Oh, gracious Lord Wiener back. Might I have just a morsel this eve? Oh boy. Stress is starting to become a bit of a problem here. It's looking like a nice anamnesis opportunity, although it also could be a malediction. Man, resisting a lot of blight, unsurprisingly, I guess. These are the folks that we were worried about. Yeah, they could bleed. Okie dokie. Could set up a toxic for the harvest child as well, I guess. 
just now occurring to me. He's one HP away, huh? That stinks. Well, this will do it, I guess, huh? Death's door at least, and then get him on his merry way. Almost there. A little more, more, more. A little more, more, more. Love it. This went really well, actually. As long as we can avoid too much more stress, which shouldn't be a problem. He's resisted a ton of blight, but... I'm getting there all the same. Excellent. That'll work. Wow, yeah, nice. That's why we buffed that, I guess. And the plus 30% damage, of course, from Bloodthirsty, too. Holy cow. Love it. He's out of here. You're out! will overcome even the greatest of threats. That'll be a quick stress heal for the Grave Robber as well. What an outcome. Fantastic. There you go, bud. Have a combo while you're at it. And I think I will endure, actually, yet. Yeah. Gonna get us in a uh, toxicable situation. The past is gone. Let it die. I'm going to go ahead and claim that in my mind, at least, as the first time anybody's ever chosen to use the word toxicable. So, go bear. Breaking new ground, baby. Cleansing sensor on the flagellant would be good because he needs to resist the hunger debuff the most. That's a fair point. And no one else really cares about the hunger debuff. Yeah, that's the kind of advice I can't ignore. Your collection can wait. Press onward. There you go. Very true. Make sure we got the right combat items equipped here as well. I think we're good to go. More flapjacks, nice. Yeah, we got the goods. I think we are ready. Ounce in the baby fight. Well, we do have ounce locked in, so we don't really have the choice on that one. I want my pull back. Especially for this, I feel like we might be able to have the opportunity to pull one of the chunks forward to stop him from doing the maws. The landowner's manor. Oh, fun. You hear the child's cries? Stealth start for the flagellant. Do want to try to avoid allowing him to be targeted prior to the Harvest Child fight, because I think it's pretty likely he ends up getting the stress very quickly in that encounter. Uh, we can just start pulling now, I guess. Cinnamon roll flapjacks sound really good right now. I can't really ever stop myself these days. I don't go to IHOP all that much, but if I do, it's hard not to get those cinnamon flapjacks. Because I know they're about 8,700 calories a piece. But goddamn, is it delicious. I haven't actually made flapjacks. You know what I'm going to make today? The full afternoon breakfast. Hash browns, eggs, and some good old-fashioned... This quick pancakes. Sounds lovely. About 8,700, give or take a couple hundred. No, it's probably close to like six or 700 a piece. That's still pretty awful, though. A slow dissection. An unavoidable end. I'm gonna fuck up some hash browns right now. How do you how do you make hash browns, man? I keep trying to do it. They're not ending up right. They're, they're too soggy. I didn't realize potatoes were so wet. Got a lot of moisture up in that little thing, dude. I've tried like the lower heat to try to let it. Sizzle out a little more. Or an air fryer. Yeah, that'd be a good way to go for sure. I didn't even think about that. That yeah, would do it. Great and a, great a potato and onion together. 
strain them and then add salt and then fry in butter. Oh, you put them in some butter. Put a little salt in there too. Yeah, that sounds pretty good. I didn't even think about putting an onion in there with it. You gotta squeeze the liquid out of them. Shave them down, put them in a towel, and squeeze the liquid into a bowl. That sounds effective. Straight up squeeze them. I'll give it a shot. Hemic Rot, yeah, what's that gonna do to us here? Ooh. Steady. A lot of weekend coming up for her, damn, that's rough. Probably gonna need a battlefield medicine there too. At that point, just buy them from the supermarket. They taste better if you make them yourself. Plus, I got all these damn potatoes I gotta use. The onions make the potatoes cry, thus removing a lot of the water inside. Yeah, that's, that's sad, but also does sound effective. Stupendous. Poor potato. <laughs> and other lies I tell myself. Come on! Not all things. Variable can make all the difference. I fully agree that some things are not worth the time spent cooking them. You could just as well pick them up for probably even cheaper in a lot of circumstances. All right, hoping we can at least get one little corpse heal here, but. The unrelenting application. Right, banking on it. Yields morbid gains. Got it to work out though. Nice. All right, decent situation to start the baby fight in. Let's see what the trophy is. Bumper crop, huh? Uh, ghastly gruel is really good though. Oh, it's corrupt and cleaver. Nice. Yeah, that's probably worth it. That alone's really good for us. Let's do it. Born to a corpulent, half-eaten mother, the child is a ravenous avatar of degeneracy. It's like noodles. Several chefs say it's not worth it to make your own noodles. Yeah, I've seen enough binging with Babish to know that's the case. Now for the death cap spores. Less death armor, less light resistance. We have 27 at the moment, which really isn't all that bad. I'm tempted to start off with the more more here, though. I think it'll probably be the play. Unfortunate blight to begin with. Let's just take a chance, I guess. Nice. Death blow resist isn't real anyway, so bumper crop is top tier. <laughs> I mean, that's a valid point. Sadly, to get the hunger up here, so glad we got the taunt early at least. I have adrenaline tonic if I need it to. I think I might want to start with a weak in here, especially since we can benefit from the combo application. I don't know about too much anamnesis this time around. He might be, he might be uh, pull curse focused occultist this time around. Especially here, yeah. I think I'll probably try to yank the food forward. He did get the weaponsmith crit though. I don't want to try to use that. Malaise. Measured and steady. Quite a bit of blight going early. That's nice to see. Not quite there on the threshold for toxic just yet, but he might get it from this. No, he's stress healed, actually. All right, fair enough. Uh, let's do this. No, that's a fair point, too, Seagull. All right, got the Maws off. We're probably going to need to go for a Battlefield Medicine on him. We're in pretty damn good shape here, though. This is going pretty well. Got the burn there, too, unfortunately. Landing a whole mess of blight. Double hunger again, but again, it's really just the flagellum we have to worry about there. Having the General's Dream trophy in this fight is outstanding. Like, super good. Um... Yeah, whatever. Bravo. Not bad, not bad. Oh yeah. Cool. That helps. God damn, man, he is in bad shape already. Need the pip though, unfortunately. I 
this is death's door. Ah, not quite. Pretty damn close, though. Thought that said 1,313 damage. That'd be a nice anamnesis, yeah. Well. Bye. Cool. Didn't even use the second death cap spore there, dude. Could have been even faster. The loathing abates. No problem. There's that for you. And I'm just gonna get rid of this. Now we're gonna use that. We have the corrupting cleaver now too. Cool. Moving on. Oh yeah, I gotta focus on the road. Get my SIG gear going. Collector just got a Snapchat notification. An interesting choice of social media for the collector. I wanna say he's he's a big Instagram guy. Always taking selfies. With his squad. Just me and the boys hanging out. You can see it in your head, right? I totally can. Is that fan art? Collector only fans will go crazy. Oh shit. Not wrong. Which okay, the the moment the conversational peak is about to unfold before our eyes here. Which Darkest Dungeon 2 characters only fans would be the most popular? I know, I know. I'm sorry. But once I thought of it, I had to ask the question. Grave Robber for sure. There's a lot of Grave Robber love. I expected the Vestal love too. Flagellant without question. I think Crusader would get quite a bit of traffic. Duelist is French, just as food for thought. Oh, yeah. The language of love. We need a pole. Oh boy. Take that for data. I think Man in Arms has a pretty strong showing too, yeah. A small foundation of trust. We can throw the uh, the enemies in there too if you want. Yeah, I'm, I'm not opposed to it. I'd, I'd certainly be clicking on the librarian's profile out of a sense of curiosity at the least. This road cannot be walked alone. Shambler too. Oh yeah. Is there an enemy that's all feet? <laughs> Oh god, the the body of work. A brilliant conclusion. Check out this body of work, a winky face, winky face, fire emoji. Appliance of harm. General be big. That's true. Ravenous reach, but feet. There we go. Yeah, I think we've landed on the ultimate answer. The focused feet. Oh god. Certainly where I'm be focused. Ah, oh, shit. Uh, I guess we don't really need to eat any of the other food anymore, do we? Get rid of this guy. I don't think we're going to need the Dark Impulse. I'm going to hang out of that for now. There we go. Back to the more important stuff. Oh, Creature Den. What the hell? I thought this was an assistance encounter. Well, let's argue more, I guess. Hey, Bear, I'm currently four out of five on a Grand Slam run doing Act 5 now. Any tips for the Act 5 boss? I haven't fought it before and haven't really looked at the boss of Act 5 either. Hold fast. Do you want me to spoil it for you? I don't know if I should. I feel like 
Well, this is honest. This is a crazy time for you to be having your first chapter five experiences. Strength doing four out of five on the Grand Slam, which I'm assuming you probably got a squad that's doing pretty well at this point. Then, yeah, I think my number one tip for sure is don't die, avoid death. Uh, but I mean, there is there's something I can tell you that is gonna help you a lot if you know it prior to getting into the fight. I just don't know if I want if you want to know. Just general tips, okay? Yeah. Uh, save your skills. You'll think you need them sooner than you will. Well, that that's that's vague enough in my mind. Good luck. Report back if we're still here. All right, we're going to need to do some healing up front. Let's do it. Eh, a little waste of a crit, actually. He can take care of himself. He'll be fine. Oh boy, we actually have the pole going. Winner moves on to the next pole. I have to do a bracket at this point? Jesus Christ. What have I done? All right, well. Grave Robber's stress situation is getting a lot better here, at least. Take a chance on this. Just gonna try to set us up for the bonus actions again here. Which this'll do. No problem there. Might as well try to speed it up a little bit. And this is probably chaotic offering time so we can get into an Anonisa situation here. Beautiful. I can't decide how much more I want to lean into the conversation. I'm pretty sure we're all for it, actually. I, th I think the only, I think the only opposition that exists is my suppressed Mormon wins. upbringing, screaming at me. No, you're not allowed to talk about boobs. No, that's a sin. Excellent work. Oh, free ban. The smallest variable can make all the difference. A bizarre choice for a first time chat to instantly scream out, please ban me. But by all means, I'll take the freebie, dude. Steady yourself. Uh, gotta heal up now, yeah. That was pretty good. Uh, yep. A nice. Generosity. What a welcome one, nonetheless. This might end up becoming a toxic situation. Kind of unintentionally. Um, not gonna get the execute there. Let's just go ahead and keep stress healing. Do, 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 do. Grave robbers moved on. Malays. Measured and steady. I was the one that got the most love immediately, so that's not too surprising. Through the creature, then we go. An invariable result. Yet again. Greater threats await those who dare. I could use that stress healing probably here too. We'll get a little ways to go before we get there. An elementary problem, is it not? I think I'm all about the assistance here. Let's take an easy road to the end. I could hit that familiar desk too, I guess. Let's see if we get out of that. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, I guess the food. None of that's all that valuable, but we mostly want to try world, to work on that relationship. Wealth is worthless without purpose. It's actually just garbage. 
And yeah, let's go study. Oh, Rip wait, no. Ow. Oh, damn it. There was a barricade ahead. Damn it. Didn't think that through. It's going to be a toxic. Oh, and it's the collector. Well, that's actually great. I planned this. I knew this was happening. The twisted faces of the damned piled high and cloaked in malice. Have you guys seen my OnlyFans? You should check it out. Analysis is the natural prelude to action. Pretty odd stuff on there. All right, let's do it. Found the taunt. I think I can do death caps for here too. I absolutely should have done that. I'll do that next turn. Doesn't... Oh, no! The Vestal cures the Blight! Oh, that's so terrible. They've got the hard counter, dude. Oh, boy. We're gonna have to take her out. I'm also a little worried about the damage potential on this highway, man. Let's get rid of that bleed real quick, and then... Gotta keep trying to find some ways to get the Blight in on her. Yeah, there's uh, several little benefits to the relationships, Big. They will uh, grant you additional bonuses to skills. And relationships like Respectful, for example, uh, offer it a small chance to grant the character a bonus uh, combo attack randomly in combat. So, really, really nice. Can he be moved? He can. We could yank him to the front. That could be pretty effective. Let's go give that a shot. Now, Collector can show up for any party X, so you just have to have a trophy equipped. I think he's going to be healing enough here. We could probably hit him with a punish. But we do have Lash's Gift, and that might be a better play. Is no time to falter. Ow! Let's just go ahead and do that again. I'm gonna need some taunt here, clearly. Holy shit. Great Anamnesis opportunity, too. I don't know why I'm waiting on a Chaotic Offering here. She's gonna be dead to the Blight already, so... Bravo! Hopefully time to start actually applying some to him. I don't necessarily need to heal in this spot. A deliberate and methodical appliance of harm. Now we absolutely need to need to get our taunt going again. All right, it's bare ween time. Let me focus up a little bit here. I don't even have to endure this, actually. Literally and figuratively. Measure out your violence and apply it judiciously. Have you done the no gravestone left unturned achievement? Which one is that? Space? I have to look it up. Yeah, Anamnesis is outstanding here. I don't know why I was waiting on that. Let's heal him up. A calculated generosity. But a welcome one nonetheless. More blight, please. Very nice. Do it again. Getting much better for us now. Now that I've leaned forward. I'm not going to be able to get another Anamnesis off. It's just the stress on him I'm a little worried about now. Let's keep the Blight going. Let's keep the Blight going. Very close. No death armor to worry about on him either, so I just want to go ahead and focus on that for the remainder here. Kind of digging that pull forward, too. I feel like it's pretty effective. 
Yeah, we had the uh, death cap spores for this fight, Fed. That's why. Normally, he's got a single death armor token. But the DOT is going to do it here. Come on, Resolute. That's all right. That's all right. Already pretty low there anyway. Just got to worry about the damage now. Ooh, that taunt. That's no good. Oh, don't attack the cultist. Thank you, taunt. Save this that time. Don't have the salve there, though. I can't heal with... Oh, yeah, no. Plague Doctor's going to be able to do it. We're fine. We're good. Um, Endure, I suppose, would be pretty nice there, too. A small reprieve from this carousel of horror. Have a battlefield medicine here. I think I could salve and also battlefield medicine that, but that'd be kind of a waste, I guess. Extinguished at last. Hit acquired and amusis finished. Let's go. Good stuff. Collector down. Make sure to subscribe. Sweet. The Wayne Wright awaits, eager to ply his trade. Nice. Adds execution to range skills and vulnerable tokens on hit. That is pretty terrific for either the Plague Doctor or the Grave Robber here. And the Poison Ring. Additional Blight Piercing, too. That was really good. Okay. The Loathing of Bates. Let's add the... I think I'll add Dismiss's head to the Flashing Daggers slash Poison Dart. Lint in the Dark also ranged here. That seems best. Although, actually, this plus Corrupting Cleaver is nutty. Her Blight Piercing is through the roof at this point. So then we could do something like that, and that'd be pretty effective. All right, don't really need that anymore, so I feel like we could be a little better off this way. Could even do this for him, which seems fun. Let's do it. Let's get rid of these things now. Cool. Equip some combat items. Might as well use that. No need for the apples and cheese. Moving on. Oh, right. Uh, yeah, we were just talking about that. I forgot. We can't be resolute there, so... Yeah, whatever. Still pretty good for him, anyway. Resist some debuffs. Slash disease. I'm doing on relics. Really good. Wow, I didn't even notice. What are we here? Fetter Scrounger. Hey. Book burner as well. Nice. A fortune in memories. Oh. Long forgotten. Big find. I don't think I'm going to keep that thing. I don't think I really need this either, but just in case. Hell yeah, 40 relics out of the academic study. We take that every time. Another eight to boot. You're going to be wealthy by the time we get to this inn, man. This is the most relics I've had in a while. Book of Body Tales makes flag a book burner. Yeah, he's clearly not super invested in the OF conversation. Act four, Cloud. Cosmic Slayer, very true. Gonna try to take advantage. Also have our Dismiss's head on the Plague Doctor now, so I'll be able to utilize that as well. The enemy weakens and wanes. I'm gonna take out this unordained altar as early as we can here. I don't think I need to worry about taunt, but I guess with the blind, yeah, I might as well. Oh, I can yank him forward, too. That's right. Not a bad idea. Let's get the attention that time. That works for me. Yeah, this dude's done. Goodbye. Yank him again? 
I was going to say uh, creating a rush judgment opportunity here is not a bad idea. A little bit of blight started on her. Yeah. A master stroke. Go all in. Dispasis head with a double bar. Well, goddamn, I love it. I love it. She is already. Oh my god, she is basically gone. I'm gonna get a little lunge in on her. This is going really well. No, we're not even gonna need the lunge. Oh, she got the worship, though. I didn't realize it was already worship time. Damn. Oh, that's no, she got extra action there. That's why that happened. I didn't realize. Crap. Okay, well, let's heal up a little bit. That's not a big deal. We get some more blight going. Worries about the DOT there. She can stress heal a little bit. Might need to go for the indiscriminate science in the back rank. Let's do it. Okay. Could be a stress hit. Nope. All right. A steady subtraction. An invariable result. Still going really good, even with the worship. Pretty damn good position here. Hopefully no way to the world this time. Oh, God. That stress hit sucks. We do thankfully have the creature den stress seal coming up, but yeah, obviously didn't want to have to deal with that. And a nice big blight hit coming out of her as well. Let's go ahead and heal him up one more time. More blight. A brilliant conclusion. More blight. That's death's door. Crit's not going to be there, sadly. Weakened as well. What is it then? But and one more toxic. Why not? Oh Lord, he is down in the doldrums. Not ideal. We'll blend for fun. All problems have their solutions. Even the big ones. Another mastery point at least. Finally got ourselves an unforgettable trinket here, which is really nice. We're gonna be able to equip this without the uh dark impulse as a result of our baby shambler. So let's do that now. And I kind of want to give this to him, actually. Yeah, I'm going to do it. I'm going to give our equipment's grog back to the flagellant here. A renewal. Welcome back. Cowboy Troy. Welcome back, Troy. Thank you for the 30 months. Some bear hugs, please, for him if you got them. Thank you very much for the resubscription. We have a game called A Biotic Factor. A Biotic Factor? It's a Half-Life 1 survival game where you're stuck in an underground facility and trying to survive while escaping. Kind of like an inverse... Uh, guard. What is that game called? Soften your gaze. It is safe here. 90 seconds or something like that? The game where you're in the bunker with your family and have to like go out and find resources and stuff. 210 relics. And no stress. 60 seconds. That's the one. And seven mastery points. And good quirks. Wow. Slugger for the Anamnesis is nuts. Dude, this guy is cracked right now. Okay. Rain, fire, and rot. Is there no sanctuary from this madness? We'll go Shroud, sure. 116 bobbles. Yeah, that's pretty wild, Each too. improvement. A new variable in the equation of your fate. Let's see. We don't really need more flapjacks. We can go ahead and unequip that now. We got more than we are going to be able to eat. Reconfigure. Meet each challenge on its own terms. We're getting all these goodies, dude. Whiskey barrels, whiskey flasks. A bit of comfort on the road to damnation. Um... I don't really need that stuff. We'll get a couple of thunderclaps. Some glimmers, the laudanum. 
pick up some clarifying Something poultice. To ease the rigors of the road. And then I think his book of creative insults is pretty good. Stockpile just about everything at this point. And that spacious upgrade is going to end up being pretty damn good for us now. Okay. Plus six right away. Love to see it. Great result from that one. It's Hippler now, too. Hell yeah, that's much better. Okay. Still got to work on the zero affinity between Flagellant and Occultist. So I guess we just do that with these. Cool. Not bad. Okay. Because it's going to get, I guess, right now. Precious relics remind us of a time before the end. Obviously, move resist isn't really something we need to worry about. Uh, mastery time. Listen. Practice. Improve. All right, let's finally upgrade in door. Let's get his blight improved as well. Let's go with... Hmm, we got to swap outs back off. Am I going blinding, guys? Maybe I should upgrade that if that's the case. I want to go weakening curse here, too. Remove strength and crit. That's pretty nice. All right, we'll go blinding gas. The additional combo chance and a daze. More and more upgrade is pretty good. Pretty sure I already upgraded flashing, yeah. Execution on the glint in the dark is tempting. Hmm. Weird is probably a good idea. Demon's pull's not bad either. Nah, let's just do weird. That's a safe safe play. Alright, let's see. Oh, that's true, isn't it? Yeah, the immobilization from the General's Dream doesn't actually impact the Leviathan's drag down thing, so... Yeah, maybe I should get a few of those for the Leviathan fight, just in case. That's a valid point. So we could do this. And I have a truly immobilized... Flagellant here. Kinda wanna give some to the Occultist, too, actually. Alright, cool. That's nice. That'll do. Use sepsis now that causes out of commission. Maybe. We have been using Lash's gift pretty regularly though. I think I'm pretty pleased with the kit as it is right now. Off to the shroud. and callousness have claimed dominion here. Hmm. Endure and weakening curse gonna be effective there. Not ideal, but not terrible, I guess. Yeah, you've made that pretty clear up to this point, Thick. Propriety floats listless on the tide. Brined in noxious degradation. Not mind a quick trip to a hospital here, although I feel like we could probably do it after the lair as well. Let's just go straight ahead. Oh, we'll hit that Leviathan after we get the cash. Thank you, how's it going for running the Gamba? Can we get a, what's the pet the mods emo? Do we have that one in there still? I think it's a better Twitch TV. Thank you, mods. Slash mod, appreciate it. Watchtower's not bad either, dude. Looking pretty good. Safe passage through the cache there. It looks like we're gonna lose the block. Think carefully. Today's oversight. Oh, never mind. Tomorrow's regret. Just the wheels. That's good. Keep the armor for the lair there. Supplies this way, if you can make it. There's a lot of doubt in here in the shroud. Yeah, there's quite a bit of doubt here in the shroud. Interesting. I'm not so certain of that Leviathan fight as I am. Let's go Perhaps give it a go I'll then. Lift this for you. Perhaps you left it for yourself. Perhaps it is not here at all. Shimmering powder, pretty nice for us. 
as is the whetstone. Don't need much of those other things though. Yeah, you can get rid of that. Get rid of the. Hold on, we want to add this to our grave robber. Get rid of. We need the glimmers too. Actually, let's use these. The apples and cheese can go. I think we're gonna get rid of the book and then. I guess I don't need to keep the griddle anymore either. Yeah, there we go. Oh, fuck. That stinks. I don't think I need the fisherman's nets either, although I do regret getting rid of those pretty the often. Flickering torch you bear. That's only ever really when I've got the trinket to go along with it, though, and I feel like our trinkets at this point are pretty well set. Linens do not need. A lot of inventory management going on today. I think we can get rid of the content trinket as well. We're not going to use that either. And the Alembic and Retort. I'm not sure why I kept that. All right. Lair time. Got to get the right combat items re-equipped, actually, real fast. So it's going to be... Don't need Shred of Decency here. Stimulants would be really nice. Go with those. Pyrotechnic, I suppose, could work here. Let's go Greek fire grenade, and then we'll keep the powder there, too. Nice. Actually, I think I'd rather have this. Use this here. Why keep two stacks of flapjacks? Yeah, that's a fair point, too, actually. I guess we don't really need them. Get rid of those next. Rotting timbers. Time for the offering. And another wonderful anamnesis opportunity here. Ah, oh, the stun, though. That's brutal. Can't get rid of that with this. Get the double vulnerable again from Dismasis. Oh, my God. That is that is a heck of a trinket, dude. That makes me very happy. Oh, he's just dead, isn't he? Yeah, he's not going to be able to transform. Cool. Good old-fashioned... Light damage, baby. Getting the job done. Got a couple of taunts up for those boys. No worries there. The stun on the occultist. This dude's dead in two. I want to speed that up real quick here, though. Nah, never mind. A slow dissection. Oh, that did do it. Nice. An unavoidable end. And then this dude's basically gone. Pretty sick. 9 to 18 damage off the punish. Holy shit. And then a 33 HP heal. Wow, we got a little stronger. This seems pretty good. Incremental. But deadly all the same. Whack him. Nice. Well, gonna be in outstanding shape by the end of this one, too. Might even be able to get a couple of. Grave robber stress heals off of this. Or just kill him. Malaise, that works too. Measured and steady. Yeah, or both. Why not? This track is outstanding. Yeah, I love this. Love this part of the OST. Moving on. We're doing a triple boss fight this fight or this run, aren't we? Oh, it's the special admiral. Cool. Admiral Marsh. I like this guy. I think he'd win an arm wrestling contest. Upon closer inspection. It's not to be to do with stones for biceps. That's some serious stones, that guy. And thankfully, don't have to worry too much about the uh, shuffling from this squad either. Another stun on the occultist. That sucks. I've really been too tempted to blinding gas so far, unsurprisingly. Anyone notice the grave robber's tall as hell? Yeah, I think it is just her hat. I think her head ends a little bit. I think the occultist and the grave robber are about the same height. She might be wearing heels, too. Is she? I can't really tell. Kind of looks like it, maybe. Yeah. 
Ah, oh, boy. I don't even know if I'm going to be able to use that crit. The fiend's strength dwindles. This blight gets stacked up real quickly, dude. Boots with the heels. Boots with the heels. With the heels. Might get the crit off after all. Lethality writ large. That'd be dead too. Wow. Get a crit weakening curse. There we go. Oh, now you're gonna be able to do that. Damn it. Messy. Never mind. I got a stress heal though. Welcome. Rockbeard. Thanks for the prime. Welcome on back in, Rockbeard. Bear hugs for him, please. Appreciate the resubscription. Oh, can clear another corpse. Nice. Man, this is near optimal condition to be entering the Leviathan fight in. Might even be able to sneak in another heal on him. Absolutely can. A small foundation of trust. Cool. All right, see you later, friend. Let's see what kind of loot we got. Can make all the difference. Ah, I was really hoping for the lashing tides. Double bleed, obviously. Not. So there's the goddamn fisherman's line, dude. Did I get rid of all of them? I think I did. God damn it. God. Fucking stupid freaking thing. They must be made to see that their monstrous god is mortal. All right, whatever. I'll try this out to start. Cool. Cool. That's probably a lot of those blocks gone and a blind up front, sadly. Let's get the blight going. Malaise. Measured and steady. We're gonna get plenty of vulnerable off distance ahead here as well. And we're really hoping he targets the flagellant with the call of the deep as often as we can get it. That'll probably help. Big light there. An unavoidable end. Yeah, sadly, General Stream doesn't affect the drag down on the Leviathan fight. Ooh, this will be nice. Good Anamnesis coming up here. Let's strengthen the Grave Robber as well. Seems worthwhile. Nice blight. self deal looking good. Let's go with the dart. I guess I didn't really need the strength in that, didn't I? Yeah, it's kind of a waste. Old path. For who knows what lurks in the beyond. All right, but we do have immense move resistance on this flagellant as a result of giving him all those uh, poultices, or sorry, the ceremonial drums in the previous end, so he should be able to resist pretty easily. There's currently a 31 blight, which is, as you might know, a lot. Not to mention, a little bleed on top of that. Let's add some more. Yeah, that feels better. 41, that's pretty good. No luck there, but another combo hit. The bloodthirsty boy. 45! Which is, as it turns out, a bigger number. He might die. We'll see. Put a move resist there. Beautiful. Why not? By all means. Oh, the glint execute? Uh, we don't have the upgraded version. But she might just get it anyway. I might as well do this. Trying to drag this out, I guess. I might want to heal here, but it will die if we do this. Dismiss his head execution, baby. 
An inkling of potency still lingers in some of these well-worn relics. And there's our fisherman's line back. The loathing whispers. All right. Let's get the laudanum on there now. Raven's Reach, nice and all, but we've got much better options here, so no need for that. Man, this Wounding Words has been outstanding on him already, too. Still have the Fisherman's Net. Let's do that. And still save these as well. And, oh my god, we're getting rid of Raider Hail Draft? This is ridiculous. What an absurd run. Oh yeah, I guess we can get rid of those two, I forgot. I want another Oblivion's Ingress so that we have a chance to get the, um... An unforgettable trinket again. So let's do it. This has gone remarkably well. Got another Chirurgeon fight coming up, too. The Loathing Festers. I've got the Baby Shambler this time around, Dragon, that's why. Letting us equip those coldest trinkets without the Dark Impulse parry. Which, sadly, that's the only one we've come across so far, but it's a damn good one to get. That is something we ought to go ahead and just use right away, too. Let's do it. They're... Oh, my God. They're agreeing on stuff. They're finally starting to like each other. I can't believe it. Time to be toxic again. The slow suffering begins. Can't have that, dude. That is far too beneficial. It's worth repeating, Impresario. Yeah, we do indeed need to try to take advantage of Cosmic Slayer here. Fisherman's line, instant stun. Very nice. Let's go ahead and pop our glimmer here, too. We do have this light sensitive, but not really a big deal. Crit's not going to be enough there, so. Although we will get it, thankfully. That's pretty nice. Uh, laudanum time. And that. And the double vulnerable again. My goodness, our token, or not our token, our, uh, our work situation here and trinket situation is phenomenal. It's more and more here. More and more. And another play grenade. We'll do a lot of them there too. Brit Blight big time plays. Now, does she have the chance on this one? Eh, not very likely. Unless we do that. Damn it. Good enough, though. I guess execution's not really going to matter on that thing, either. Convert that to more regen. He might, uh... I don't think he's going to need to self heal, actually. He's going to have the pain trigger off of this, so he'll be good to go. Altered down. Blight's going to be enough there. Let's get another big-time shot there. Healing up. Very nice. Just one more rush judgment out of her. Shouldn't be a problem. Ah, oh, the regen. God damn you. Okay. And I have to have an answer for it. Let's see. I'm going to heal myself up real fast. I've been very consistent with the heal so far today. That's been great. Try it. Ah, oh, another minimum hit. Shit. That would have been pretty big. Okay, we may finally have a chance to utilize it, though. She's not feeling too sharp either. Don't jinx the occultist heal. So far, so good. We've been helping out. That'll be a pretty easy lunge kill, it turns out. Steady subtraction, an invariable result. Oh shit. Let's go. Execution off the blight grenade. An unexpected outcome, and we'll go ahead and finish this off right after the last glimmer gets popped here. Ah, damn, the minimum damage. All right, well, let's just endure then, I guess. Although that does... Ah, the vulnerable's not going to matter, so... No, let's not, actually. I think we're fine. Just kill her. 
an unavoidable end. Just end it. And give me another unforgettable trinket. Cut down these nightmares. Nope. And blaze the trail to your redemption. Oh, that wasn't worth it at all. Jeez, didn't even get a mastery point out of that. The loathing wish. Like actually no value. Didn't even get the flame because we maxed it out with the glimmer. That's a bummer, dude. Oh, well, I guess we really don't need that much more help at this point. Might even be able to remove the Hemic Rot in this Chirurgeon fight without even having to go to the hospital. That'd be pretty sick. Or maybe we just leave. Yeah, I think we just... I think we just go. We did have a pretty rough go that last time. Chirurgeon is the hard counter to our build and primeval water ordained Warm version probably not up from the ocean floor a great idea some unaccountable tectonic action all right hospital coming up a couple of insistence encounters between then and there quarter is definitely a good idea but hospital is effectively the same no need for food hateful yet again never change Pretty sure Grave Robber has 100% light piercing with a lunge buff. At least we know what's coming. I think you're right, because she's rocking the plus 30. No, plus 58%. And then an additional 30, you get to 98, yeah. That's pretty wild. All right, loathing should be fine, too. Yeah, we got nothing to worry about there. Stagecoach is in fine shape. It's all working out. The treatment is harsh, but undeniably effective. Okay, rid us of melophobic. Let's lock in some stuff possibly here. Bloodthirsty and slugger. Oh, slugger may actually be better. Oh, look, we got the triage achievement. Oh my God. I unlocked an achievement today. It's highly unusual in DD2 these days. Treat a disease, remove a negative quirk, and lock in a positive quirk at a single field hospital. Neat. Of course, we can only lock in the one, so might lose bloodthirsty, but that's still pretty good. Uh, get rid of boisterous as well. Even the worst habits can be overcome. That's pretty good. Tonics, tinctures, and remedies. Okay. The science of hope. Got a couple of nightshade concoctions too. That's outstanding. That might even convince me to equip Bumper Crop, actually. And negate the loss of the store resist there. We spent all the relics. The vestiges of an invading army scattered and lost in this dying land. We're pretty well off as a result. No more Hemic Rod on the Grave Robber, either. All right, let's go for the Chaotic here. Pretty effective. We'll target our back rank as well. Yeah, to go pretty quick. Really want to try to avoid the toxic still here. Oozing tulip. Welcome back. Bear hugs for him, please. Long term resub. 74 months. Welcome back. Thank you. Hell yeah. God, that's satisfying. Nearly dead back there already. I don't feel the love and drag him back down into the pile. Don't make him bear hug himself, y'all. Come on now. Let him feel the love, please. Uh, flashing again? Yeah, it's not bad. Big time blight there again. That's bear optimal, though. Oh, no yikes. That's a heal. That's going to need to be a taunt there. What the hell? When did that happen? Relax. Oh, the pip too. Okay, there we go. That works out. All right, so he's gonna die to the blade no matter what. Got the boy exposed in the third rank here as well, so that works out. I'm gonna punish that. Oh, it's a big punish. That's a big punish. Self heal too. We're looking good. Let's go. How does she keep doing just not enough? There it is. Extra blight will get the job done. And heal himself. Almost to 16. 
Halfway there. And yeah, we'll just let the blight do the job. I said we'll let the blight do the job. There we go. No more mastery points, huh? You all done giving those out? I guess we got our fair share last region. There's some more shimmering powders for the grave robber. That's pretty nice. I should equip this laudanum, actually, yeah. Yeah, still rocking the original crew here, Nemesaur. They have been crushing it today. I think we got a pretty good shot against this Chapter 4 boss, too. I'm going to come across a few more relics before the end of the region here. Maybe these guys can help us out. Uh, they'll save us some baubles, at least. Well, let's see what this is. Worth a look. Abandoned or forgotten. Nice. It is ours now. Even more reason to utilize the bumper crop here. Um, I doubt I'm going to use this, but maybe. I'll get rid of a couple of baubles, I think. Yeah, that's probably fine. Need more relic space. All right, loathing is right on the cusp. One more assistance encounter. Got enough wheels for this. Looking good. Giving in to madness is easier than holding out against it. Hmm. They are heroes. Yeah, sure. We can save some baubles, I suppose. Kind of wish Shred of Decency was more usable. It's certainly pretty niche. And even when I've had situations where I think I should use it, it doesn't really even, uh, even end up being all that great. In fact, you saying that makes me want to dump it because I think, yeah, it doesn't really. Especially when you've got other options available. Like, it's better than nothing, but that's about it. I may actually. Yeah, no, I'm pretty sure I want to get what I've. or want to keep what I've got equipped here, so. Let's do it! Made manifest. Yeah, if it increased Torchlight, that'd be nice. Just any other tiny little advantage be good. I'm gonna go for the altar again. I'm pretty convinced at this point that the play is to attempt to remove his companion if at all possible. So we'll do exactly that. Measured and steady. And looking pretty goddamn likely this time, actually. That is, yeah, that's the job done. Hell yeah. Easy. Got a pip out of that too. Crit and light immediately. Nice. I got you, Impresario. No, I'm, I'm on it. I'm on it. Do we get Anamnesis here? Maybe we just keep applying combo. This is a chance to stun as well. Might as well try that. Great combo blight yet again. Let's go for the taunt there. Alter down. Good time blight. Have to pop that lot again next turn. Hmm. Depending on the amount of times he's able to get in on some damage here, I might have to go with a. Lash's gift, but I probably just need to reset that taunt, actually. Man, he's going ham. Pretty mad about the blight here. I don't know if I have a taunt available, but... Oh, boy, yeah, he really plowed through that blight, didn't he? The combo there again. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, no taunt this time around, so I guess... Just take that. Blight comes back a little bit. We have one more Shimmering Powder I might as well use, an additional Speed Buff, and then Glint Crit is not, or sorry, Lunge Crit is not quite going to be there, so I suppose we just go ahead and do this again. Bravo! Yeah, so no chance on the execution either. But, depending on turn order here, oh boy, yeah. Man. That sucks. Not too big of a hit, though, at least. Well, bye. 
That was fun. Another pip there too. Good. Hey, Nexus. An inkling of potency still lingers in some of these well-worn relics. I don't think so. Fun to get another option, but I'm pretty sure I'm leaving that guy behind. Yeah, speedy little exemplar fight there. No sweat. Okay. One last stop. One final rest. The chapter four boss awaits. Feeling pretty good. Not a lot of relics at this point, having just spent all of them at the hospital, but... Oh, wow, yeah, still at 52, actually. That's not bad at all. Let's see what we can get. There are yet places such as this, where a little light still gathers. Sadly, uh, thick Jesus just decided to replace their bloodthirsty quirk. That's unfortunate. All roads lead to the mountain. But only one leads beyond it. What's your opinion on the different infernal flames? I like that there's the variety there. It's fun if you're looking the for an additional arrived. challenge. For a time at least. Although I haven't really used them all that much. Yeah, let's do bumper crop, dude. Experimentation. Your academic instincts serve you well. Actually, no, no, no. It's chapter an four. Worth remembering. Immobilizes OP in Chapter 4. He's not going to be able to knock us back, and he keeps targeting the flagellant, which is perfect for us. Precious relics remind us of a time before the end. I have a greater guilt than mine if I really wanted to try to go for the death door resistance, but no. I mean, we'll add it anyway. I mean, obviously, it's still going to be good, even if it's not making up for the bumper crop. Yeah, he's going to have a ridiculous amount of death door resist. Give it to everybody, why not? Everybody gets a little nightshade. Cool. Disease to do, and then speed would be best on the Plague Doctor. Let's do that. You get the taunts, you get the stun resist. Massive stun resist. Experimental Remedy is going to be a full heal and removes a negative quirk, possibly. So who do we want to use that on? I don't really care, actually. Yeah, none of this is all that bad. I guess zoophobic, but that's not really even going to matter. Oh, it's everybody. Wow, cool. Okay, yeah, that was pretty good. All right, and then a cultist, I guess, can get a little stun resist. You two, no, not you two. It's going to be you two. Not a tuck rope. Playing card time. And some whiskey. A bit of comfort on the road to damnation. Nice. Well, could be worse, I guess. Come on, a plus two for me. Man, I don't have a single other thing that can help him, huh? Oh, poetry, good. Yeah, that'll do it. Perfect. Still got the chance, but not as big. Now I got a good shot at getting some uh, positive ones going, actually. Hooray! Learn what can be taught. That you may stand just a little taller at the end. Let's finally do Glint. The chance at the execution. And then probably Battlefield Medicine. Yeah, that's for the best. Right. Now. That's done for you. Combat items. We're going to save. Triage kit. Treffin burr. However you say that. Stimulants. And the pyrotechnic dazzler. Meaning we can use this. Laudanum. The spring water. And we'll keep the fisherman's net. So I suppose the three actually that we're going to end up using are the uh, dazzler, the triage kit, and the treffin burr. So we're free to use the stimulants as well. And we'll save these, I suppose, for the second encounter. Since they'll be more useful there. One last check for the... Bobbles here. Don't the next need... Stop is leagues away. A Sagir. Plan accordingly. 
We don't need any of the gear we've got equipped to the stagecoach right now. So let's buy medical equipment. And operating table, I guess, just in case. And I suppose coverage is mixing kit. Cool. Use the bobbles. Any advantage is a good thing. And then medical equipment. Nice. Oh, that's cool. I didn't realize these guys had a synergy. This increases the amount of produced items from this. Which I suppose would mean it's worth equipping. Just in case. All right. That'll do. Now we gotta get some barrel rolls, y'all. Because we have reached the mountain once more. With some positive relationships? Tried and tested. A bond to be counted Ooh, on. Ooh, crushing the flashing dagger is gonna add some strength. Nice. Dead of night and weird reconstruction will do the same. Very respectful. Cause of death. Oh, I can't use it. That's right. Or malediction. I got a little excited about that, and then I remembered we're not even using those anymore. Oh, well. Actually. At last, the great cigarette. Temple of failure and regret. I think I'll change out anamnesis for malediction at the end, which makes me wish I had upgraded it, obviously, but... I think that'll be best for the ambition fight. Yeah, we'll probably go that route. At the very least for the uh, ability to add the dodge plus there. Although he does like to steal those tokens I just remembered, so maybe that's not the best idea. But it is almost certainly going to be better than anamnesis in that situation anyway. I'll take a stealth start. Time to put them in the ground. Hey, Rodimus! Thank you for the 34 months prime sub. Welcome on back in. Bear hugs, please. Bear hugs and the bear rolls. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Just starting a little bleed up front. Not too bad. Block there. No bleed either. This guy's already in pretty bad shape. Anxiety for men's insidious fears. I have to do a little bit of endure. That's ideal. We'll get a massive rain in the back now as well. This dude's basically dead. Weakening curse. Yeah, I like that. Might as well do this as well. We fully resisted. Get a big blight right there. Actually flashing again, yeah. Huge blight, nice. Two turn timers, I think, are both in the back rank, not to mention. Yeah, we'll save it just in case, I guess. A master stroke. Dead there, dead there. God damn. Very good. All in on bear leave, love it. I'm feeling pretty damn good about this team, dude. A breakthrough. Odds are good. Well, that's fun. Another acid rain. She is dead as hell. This dude is really hurting. That is a lot of stress they just managed to add, though. Okay, let's try... Blinding Gas? Since he's getting down to Death's Door anyway, there's no need for us to really uh, assist in that any further. I suppose it could be Endure time now. Let's go ahead and go for that. Since we certainly don't mind getting some toxic triggers in in the end for this one either. Cool. Uh, we'll get her a little corpse clear. Possibly a second one as well. That adds a strength token too. And then we might need to try to get a battlefield medicine at the end of this. Blinded and weakened here. Nice. Yeah, let's try to heal her up or heal him up a little bit more. Oh, that was not a threshold. Damn, I didn't realize. Yeah, it's fine. Just in case he somehow still be or still is able to get an action off. Big time endure plays there. Get a pip just for funsies. And then one last stress point removed. He is going to get one more attack off here, I just realized. So glad we weakened. 
But that, that's just a little closer for Toxic for us, so that works for me. And sure. Surprised Tommy. Boom! Oh god, that's terrible. Somehow made him even worse. Also, you're not in the right spot. You need to be over here. There, that's better. And sure. The unrelenting application of violence yields morbid gains. It was a legit jump scare, wasn't it? Yeah. Let's see. Get the lot in them, the spring water in here now. And I think I'll use the scrap grenade instead of the shred. There we go. Behold the infinite emptiness of the void. My surgeon's hand is steady. We're missing the glimmers this time, sadly. Slightly lower torch light coming out of this. Nice bleed there, good stuff. The fiend's strength dwindles. A whole bunch of vulnerable, too. Tell me I'm going to be able to take out the tutor before he even gets an action here. Let's see if I can get a super good demon's pull. Maybe a stun off of this as well? I haven't gotten a lot of those lately. Oh, that's right. The demon's pull is not a melee skill, is it? So, yeah, that's not going to happen. Go ahead and reduce her stress a little bit. We could endure here as well, actually. That'd be pretty damn likely to get us to the... Uh, toxic situation, although I feel like it's pretty likely already anyway. Bye-bye. Now let's get an even bigger blight. Hopefully no extra action. It doesn't look like it's happening here. All right, yeah, no altar, of course. Okay, he's definitely going to need a heal. Let's get her... Eh, let's just keep blighting. Fuck it. Think we can get away with it. This is no time to falter. Yank him forward here. Unless I want to heal myself. Yeah, let's do that. Very consistent. Well done, buddy. Another lot in him there. Gotta pop that spring water when we can, too. I'm gonna spring her down to death story. I might be able to lunge execute this, actually. Which would be good. Because otherwise, I think we're probably gonna have to... Ah, there's the early toxic. Damn, that sucks. That's fine, though. He's gonna be able to endure it immediately after that, and we'll be able to get back to the threshold soon. Not a problem. Uh, medicine there? Yes. Relief comes rarely in these times. Oh, she's gonna be able to worship Safer. prior to the. Uh... Yeah, that sucks. Yeah, I don't think there's anything I can do about it. Oh well. Oh wait, no, the punish might be enough. Yeah, let's go for that. Nice. That's pretty good. No worship for you, my friend. And now, oh, the lunge execute? Oh, ho, ho, baby. That's fun. That's a bear belly slap. The one pleasant in the extreme. And a bear roll to victory. This work is noble and necessary. On top of it all. Here we go, then. Get that in there. Get that in there. I might actually, I'll take the spring water instead. Yeah, that's a slightly safer play. And dump the rest. Keep the trophies just as bragging rights. The rest is Garbo. And off we go. To the mountain once more. Chapter 5 boss. We don't need the Dead of Night anymore. We can go ahead and swap that for the Absinthe. Let's go Malediction over Anamnesis. And that'll do it. Yep. Well, hold on a second, actually. Let's maybe go with the uh, Ounce of Prevention here. He's crazy. He's out of his mind. The Nightmare Gate is revealed beyond only infernal nihility and non-existence and victory don't forget that wayne ambition's reach forever exceeds its terrible grasp instantly near melt or no yeah near meltdown territory here we got very low blight resist on this guy That'll work out pretty well for us. He's going to be staying right there, my friend. Sorry to say. I'll be an indoor right away. 
Yeah, exactly, Drevis. That's why we don't have Cause of Death equipped at the moment, because we can't use it in the back rank. Um, I guess I could use... Nah, let's save that for when we need it. Keep the Blight going, baby. Let's make fairly quick work of this early going. I think I want a Chaotic. No, I don't think I need that, actually. I gotta try to look out for healing opportunities where I can get them. This guy can do quite a bit of damage very quickly. Like that. They have given their last. Oh boy. Jeez, oh, I might want to spring water just to keep her off of Death's Door here. Or not the Death's Door, the Meltdown. She is going to be able to Battlefield Medicine this. And I can get a weird reconstruction afterward too, so maybe just go ahead and keep going in on the flight there. Oh, she did get the meltdown. Damn, maybe a resolute here? Hey, nice. Iron stance is not going to matter at all, but that's obviously pretty great. Okay. Go play, doctor. Yep, to be expected. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and heal him again. All right. He's, he's lost his clutch gene, apparently. We will be able to turn that into a regen real quickly. There we go. That blight's still pretty substantial. A couple more block pluses to get through. We'll go ahead and hit this. Malaise. Measured and steady. Two turn timer, another setback. We got another heal. Alright. Got enough at least. That'll get the transformation going. And I suppose it's probably time to... Oh, yeah, we could probably do something like Lashes. That's good. And his Blade Resist might be a little higher now. Yeah, it's quite a bit higher, actually. Still good with this, though. Or not. Oh, that's a yoink of the tokens, too, isn't it? No, okay, I think the next move he's going to do is one, though. Let's see... I don't need to heal still. Her Blight Piercing is decent, too. Get through those dodge tokens as well. This is no time to falter. Yeah, that's not too bad. This would be a decent way to do it. This is a nice poison dart from her as well. There's the Blight. Okay, got a little bit in there. Yeah, those dodges are wild. I don't think the taunt matters either. I think he's just going to do what he wants. Let's just make her stronger, I guess. Oh, yeah, he's got the crit now. God damn it. The fiend's strength dwindled. This is going to hurt. Big bleed there again. Yikes. Holy shit. Well, glad we have this thing to deal with that. Oh, we could absinthe actually. Yeah, that's better. There remains a foothold out of this mire. Now climb. We could use the uh, plague doctor's combat item there as well. I guess fisherman's net isn't really doing anything for me now, is it? Oh, it's not on melee. It's on any hit. Okay, so it does still have the chance to apply the stun. It's just that he has immense stun resist. Comes rarely in these times. That's nice, at least. Okay. She's absolutely going to need to heal herself. Maybe if I taunt now, it might actually make a difference. Get him to do a precise intent up here. Now we can spring water. Get some more blight going. God damn it, he's gotten really lucky with those, dude. Huh. Oh, I did not realize that does damage. I thought that added their damage, right? Yeah, I forgot. That's not what that does at all. Oh, man, I am really screwing up now. That was not a good idea. Oh, Battlefield Medicine Upgrade. I should have targeted the Grave Robber so they could get rid of both bleeds. Crap, I forgot I'd upgraded that. Hmm. 
It's worth it to use one of these to clear a dodge and possibly lower his speed, I think. Could try a heal again here, I guess. Oh, boy. Old path. For who knows what lurks in the beyond. That's better, I guess. Oh, man. Got a little damage in, at least. Okay. That's good, too. At least he's targeting the front ranks now instead. We're going to have to deal with this meltdown. Okay. No quirk. Could be worse. Sweat soaked brows. Unsteady stances. Exhaustion takes hold. This is going to be all of my battlefield medicine used up. Oh boy, see you later, occultist. God damn, he is wrecking me, dude. Yeah, it turns out when he can resist the blight, kind of counters my build. That has been really brutal so far. Another absinthe here. Not to mention we've been just having to heal just about every round. I haven't really been having any... Again, opportunities to do anything terrible precipice and when we do he's just dodging it sheesh all right we get an opportunity here i really need her to land this poison dart a breakthrough got the blight okay toxic too which is gonna heal weirdly Okay. That's pretty good. I think I taunt here so that we can heal off of the attack as well. Blight is going to do it. She's going to be able to heal herself as well. But deadly all the same. Okay. Phase three. Somehow made it. Measure out your violence and apply it judiciously. Holy hell. All right. No more DOT at least, but obviously that's not great. He's got a lot of blight already. He's going to repose too. Jesus Christ. The mind's grasp grows tenuous. I'm so fucked. <laughs> I'm so boned. An opportunity. Squandered. Good God. Nightmare. Hey, big self crit heal at least. Okay, a couple of dodges there too. The toxic blight's just gonna have to carry us. Oh, Jesus Christ. And then the bleed too. What the hell, man? Oh, boy. A waste of a dodge as well, and then the bleed off of that. Come on, son of a bitch. Solo flage, she survives. Holy shit! Oh my god, man. I don't know why I'm even keeping this thing anymore, it's not even any good. Solidarity may yet arrest this collapse. Still alive by some miracle. No bleeds anymore. What the hell? Toxic blight. Getting rid of that, man. God damn, I don't know. Flash's gift, I guess. That doesn't feel right either. I think I gotta keep trying this. Despite it obviously putting me on death's door, but then we do get to heal off of that, obviously, and then... Okay, let's just try it, I guess. Fuck it. He's gonna kill us anyway. Let's get some more blight, maybe. Bye-bye. You served she us well. Death, you served us well. It. You've played your role. It's now time for the solo hero shit. He's got it, dude. He's got it. Still technically a win.
right? It's all we needed. Still a victory. An interminable conflict. There we go. Ambition drove you to abandon everything you had for everything you wanted. I'll take it. Not awful. The flame grows stronger. Ne never worried, right? Doubter's a little disappointed, I'm sure, but I'll take that W, man. Fun run. Had some unfortunate, uh, what do I call these, uh, uh, mismatches with the Blight Squad and the Chirurgeon in that final fight, obviously. But overall, they did pretty damn good, so that was a good time. If you're watching over on YouTube, please leave a like on the video. It does help out quite a bit. Appreciate all the support over there. I'll see you in the next one.